Hi, and welcome to the first Victoria 3 modding video on the Iron Workshop. In this video, we'll learn how to create new mods using the Victoria 3 launcher and how to locate the new mods that we've created. Let's get started. All right, so to create our new mod, we're going to start the Victoria 3 launcher. In the launcher, we'll click on mods and in case you don't have any mods installed, you will be shown this screen. In case you do have mods, you will have the mod tools icon located at the top corner here. So right now I'm going to click on mod tools and this allows me to create a new mod. So let's just call it our cool new mod and click on create. All right, our mod has been created and now the interface changed a bit and now I can activate this mod whenever I go to playsets. All I need to do is to click on add more mods, select my new cool mod, add to playlist and now this mod is activated and I can play it. And of course in order to test your new mod you will need the mod to be active. All right now let's see how we can locate this mod and its files on our computer. Our newly created mod will be located in the Documents folder of Windows. So let's go ahead and open that. I'll go to Documents. Now, please note that many users uh, might find it confusing because in here you might have another Documents folder uh, under OneDrive. And you definitely don't want that one. You need the local folder, not the OneDrive folder. So make sure that you're opening the Documents folder that's under this PC. All right, now inside the documents folder, we're looking for the Paradox Interactive folder. You can just press P on your keyboard to locate it quickly. So this is the folder, Paradox Interactive. In here, you will have folders for all the Paradox games you have installed. And we're going to click on Victoria 3, Mod. And in here, you see that I now have this folder of our cool new mod. And if I were to open it, it contains another folder called metadata. And inside of it, there's a metadata.json. Now, in order to open this file, you will need Notepad++. You can, of course, open it with a regular Notepad, but please make sure to download Notepad++. I will have a link to that in the description of this video. And once you have Notepad++ installed, you can just right click and click on edit with Notepad++. And inside of this uh, file, we have some settings for our new mod. We're not going to be taking a look at these settings at this moment. This is just a simple video to explain how to create our new mod and locate it on our computer. All right, so that is it. You've created your new mod for Victoria 3. Keep watching to learn how to mod this game and make many wonderful changes to it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.